Hey everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today with AllFreeKnitting.com I'm here to show you a tutorial on dyeing yarn with a wool acrylic blend. Today we are using Lion Brand Wool Ease Yarn which is a 20% wool, 80% acrylic blend. Now I've told you many times that you cannot dye acrylic with food coloring but we can dye the wool and so we'll get an interesting yarn. Now it comes in a ball like this just to start off. I'm going to wind it into a skein using my handy chair. So to wind it into a skein, I'm just wrapping it around this chair over and over and over. And I have a center pull of the ball out um, which makes that easier and go a lot faster. Alright, so I've got the whole skein, or sorry, the whole ball wrapped around the chair, and with either end, I'm just going to lightly tie it off. I don't want to tie it too tightly because I don't want to have white spots um, on either side. But you may, I might need to redo these ties once I get it off the chair because it's stretched pretty thin. But, um, Flip it off the chair and secure, where's my other tie, right here, secure ties. Now we are ready to dye some yarn. I have a dye mat here with about six cups of water, um, a healthy splash of white vinegar, and I've added food coloring to make kind of a a rusty orange color. I've used a combination of different McCormick's food coloring and some other um, some Wilton's pastes and some other food colorings that I had around. So I'm going to bring this to a soft boil. If you want a more consistent color on your yarn then you'd want to pre-soak it. But I'm actually once the pot gets hot going to add it dry because I would like some more mottled, kettle dyed effects to the way the color absorbs to the yarn. There's a full tutorial on this online on the channel. We are at a light simmer, so I'm now going to add the yarn. Because of the amount of acrylic in the yarn, I don't want to let it get too, too, too hot um, because you don't want things to get all melty. So I'm going to put it in. And put it down. And you can see the rusty orange brown color. And there we go. I'll let it simmer. But there's an awful lot of dye in here, so I'm not sure if it'll get to a point where the dye will run clear. Um, but you will be able to see that a wool acrylic blend can actually take color really nicely. It's been lightly simmering for about oh, five minutes and there's still, if I gently move it aside, a ton of dye left in the dye bath. So we're going to just keep this on in here for a while um, before we finally turn it off and let it cool. You can see that it's barely at a simmer it's a bit hard to tell because of the color of the pot, but you can see there's some yellow left in there, but the water is basically starting to run cool after simmering for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to turn off the heat entirely and let this sit until it cools completely. And as it's cooling off, it'll remain hot for a while and so that'll allow uh, the rest of the, the color to absorb. And if it doesn't all absorb the way I want, then we can always add more heat and vinegar. All right, this is cool. Um, it's almost all of the dyes in the yarn. There's just some green color left. But I've got a very nice kind of terracotta color here. So now let's take it over to the sink. Uh, My rinse pot is a little uh, 
small, but ah, see there goes some green color. And just like with any other dyeing project, we'll add a little bit of mild fish soap. Um, and you want to rinse it until see, there's a lot of green in the water. You want to rinse it until the water runs clear. Um, get all the excess dye out of the yarn. So you can see that most of the color is staying in the yarn. And so it's amazing how much color you can get. Um, but the color will appear a bit lighter than this once the yarn is dry. And so once I'm done washing I, and it's dried, I'll show you what we've got. So there we have it. The dry Line Brand Wool Ease hand dyed yarn. As you can see, the color is a bit paler now that it's dry, but it's a really pretty terracotta red. If you zoom in, which might be hard for you to see on the video, you can see that some of the fibers are darker and others are not. And that is because the wool is dyed, but the acrylic does not take any dye. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to dye a wool acrylic blend with food coloring. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and this video was brought to you by allfreeknitting.com.